from Bayon World is a new uh, tourist attraction and being uh, reconstructed, probably a better way of putting it. So this is a German base in the forest that's called Bayenwald, which is where Hitler served, looking towards the British lines which ran from left to right, or right to left, in front of the wood. So this is the uh, tourist attraction to be today. So they're making wicker, wicker effect uh, walls. And uh, obviously there's a certain amount of archaeology going on here as well. Now these, um, these are definitely real, as opposed to the fake. Concrete sandbags used in the um, British ones. I mean, this is definitely real, genuine wood made the way they were made 90 odd years ago. A lot cleaner. They're not finished. Okay, you can see the new construction there. Up this section is, um, I can't imagine this is original. I have to assume it's been remade since. So maybe it was made again 20 30 years ago. So it just goes into undergrowth. Let's see what's up here. Oh, rotten wood. again. Contrast. Right, this is a section of uh, finished reconstruction. Now the sandbags are concrete, but they're actually sandbags in the concrete inside them, which makes them look a little bit more original. I just uh, chatted to the owner of the site and said that um, this is going to be open properly, so they're still finishing off, but they're going to be open properly in uh, July 2008. Still a lot needs to be done. This is, feels more realistic than um, anywhere else I've uh, visited. So this is one of the German bunkers. It's barely sticking its head above the surface. Apparently these, uh, the wicker put in here was put in three years ago. The German bunker was put in a lot longer ago, 